All right, some common journal entries for governmental accounting. And these really are not too different from corporate accounting. Yes, the wording is going to be different for sure. But in terms of what they are actually doing, it's not too different. So journal entry to record the accrual of real property taxes, real meaning like real estate, real property taxes levied. And what a taxes levied mean, this is essentially when it would be like if you send a purchase order or an invoice. Uh, this is when you, as the government, tell the citizens you owe them the money. So when they're levied, when it's announced, when they're given the bill and provide the estimated amount of uncollectible accounts, well, think about it when you send the invoice, when you're dealing with customer. You debit receivables, and in this case, it's property tax receivable, just like accounts receivable. You're going to credit revenues if you completed your end of the bargain, right? Just like in corporate accounting, revenue is the credit. And then we have allowance for doubtful, right? That is also something we could see if we have that you know, threat of not receiving all of our money in corporate accounting. So this is, these numbers are made up, right? But the question could ask you and kind of tell you what the numbers are, you know, how much do you expect to receive, how much, what percentage is uncollectible. Pretty standard, nice looking journal entry there. And remember, measurable and available. You recognize revenue when it's measurable, when you can estimate the dollar amount, right? So in this case, obviously we were able to estimate the dollar amount as 3.6 million. And available just means that it's during the year or two months after. So this 3.6 million is likely for the year as well as next January and February. That's what those measurable and available are always going to refer to in our questions. Note here, when you're recording receivables, there may be an allowance account, but not an uncollectible accounts or bad debt expenditure. The recording of the allowance reduces revenue to the measurable and available amount. So less steps, basically what this is saying, less steps than in corporate accounting. What about the journal entry to record the actual collection of property taxes? Well, just like in corporate accounting, right? We debit cash and credit our receivable. In corporate accounting, it's accounts receivable. Here, it's real property taxes receivable. Again, don't worry about the dollar amounts. The question would, would you give you these dollar amounts, right? This is what it ended up being. All right. So this is the journal entry to reclassify receivables. So this is delinquent. So when people don't pay their taxes, we've got, we debit property tax receivable delinquent and credit property taxes receivable current. So this is an additional 684,000 that's not paid. That's where, that's where this is coming from, right? The, the difference here is the extra money not being received by the government. So journal entry to reclassify current allowance for uncollectible taxes to delinquent and adjust revenues to accrue available amounts. All right, now here is our difference, right? Because originally the allowance for doubtful accounts is an estimate account, right? We estimate that we are not gonna collect 360. However, how much was really uncollectible? Well, it was 684. So we're reducing revenue by that extra amount and we are accounting for that original amount the additional amount for a total uncollectible of 684. Pretty similar to corporate accounting, but it's going well, right? I know it's going well on your end. Everything is just fine and dandy.